Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent and today we're on episode 258 of the Wizard 101 Death Walkthrough. It's been a while, but we are back. Imperial Part 2 was released just today and we are talking uh, to Fitzhum. I have a note for you from that Spark chap, because apparently I'm the Arcanum Postman too. The note reads... Wizard, Captain Pork and I have returned to Ariel to refine the intra-ethereal navigational system, as well as study the enigmatic ether. Ugh, and there's a page of technobabble. He says they're installing sensors, blah blah, terapeptide fluctuations, and he ends with... All this, of course, is for naught without young Mallory. Please consult with Beans and the Scholars, then rendezvous with us in Nowhere Village. Well, you heard the Nimbari. Scholar Xander and the Surly Pigmen are looking after Mallory in Recovery Room A. Go on, then. Well, that's, that's that. It seems we have to go over and find Mallory. So, um, I've already played through basically all of Imperial on Test Drum, except the last couple of, last couple of bits. But, um, oh look, the tree has a name now. Wow, that's pretty cool. Amazing, Sybil. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've already played through most of this. I haven't listened to all of the dialogue, though. Basically, the only bit of dialogue I've listened to is this first bit. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm very excited for this. Very, very excited for this. Wow, looky what the fire cat dragged in. I was beginning to worry you were stuck in some interminable dungeon. Okay. Beans. I wish I could tell you you missed a lot, but unfortunately there's been little more than nervous frustration here. Beans and Xander have been working tirelessly to keep Mallory's body alive, but the poor little darling is only getting worse. We've pored over every text available, from ancient scrolls to Captain Pork's Imperia mission report, but we're no closer to reviving Mallory. The vitality boluses have always been a temporary solution. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of precedent for reviving a semi-divine entity. Medical science and magic are both stumped. It seems as if her spirit is lost. The only person who can wake up Mallory is Mallory. Yikes. Well, there is still one last experimental enchantment we can try, but it's incredibly risky. We'll need you to go out and procure the active galactic nucleus of a juvenile neutron star. You'll do no Whoopsies. You'll Whoopsies. Do no such thing. There will be no experiments conducted on any of my students without my direct supervision. Why well, wasn't he a party pooper? How'd you get you can't just barge in here and tell me how to care for my daughter? With all due respect, Baba Yaga, Melori is more than just your injured child. She's the key to whether or not we all live or die. You are canon scholars. <laughs> Have no right to make unilateral decisions that affect the outcome of the entire spiral. There are those of us who have dealt with and fought against Spider and the forces of Shadow before. Not only that, but we are the ones on the ground dealing firsthand with Raven's mysterious Lufalum incursions. Lufalum incursions? Impossible! The Lufalum are guardians, not soldiers! They never leave the Light Temples! Yes, well they do now. Had any of you asked, you know the reports of Lufilim sightings have come from every corner of the spiral. He's bugged. He's he's bugged. He's not meant to be standing like a like a like this. He's meant to actually be moving. That's broken. Lufilim incursions? <laughs> that news is overwhelming. Clearly, the only hope the spiral has is for all of us to work together. I'm glad you finally see it that way, Scholar Virga. There's much to discuss. Oh, but first, wizard, uh, a moment. Okay, let's talk to the Merle. What does he want us to do? Lost in all this confusion is the fact that our dear old Bartleby's condition is also deteriorating. He cannot go on like this much longer. Even with his eye of history back, Bartleby's only able to mutter fragmented sentences, mostly calling out for Mallory. Ooh. And you? Ah, oh, wow. Actually, so special. <laughs> he has requested you, specifically. I know you're in the middle of something, wizard, but desperate times call for desperate measures. None of this business with Raven and Spider will matter if Bartleby dies. We must go to Ravenwood and help the Great Tree. Let's be off. Okay, let's head over to, um... Let's head over to Bartleby and go and help him and be good and stuff. Be a great 
great friend for Bartleby. We're also going to change our badge because I did not do that today. Um, and I recorded a video last night. I was meant to go up today, but unfortunately, this... Unfortunately, or fortunately? Fortunately, um, Imperia was released, so that's great. That's great. It also means I don't need to record anything now, which is good um, for tomorrow. Because, um, just, just so you know... We're not going to have um, every single day as the death walkthrough because we need to have some variety. Um, probably twice a week, I would say. No, no. come back. Ugh. Just find the wizard. Just, just come back. Ugh. The key. Ugh. 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 Wizard, help. Easy now. Oh, be strong, my old friend. Look, I brought the wizard as you requested. Melinda, has there been any change? Only for the worse, I'm afraid. His leaves lose color by the minute. He may not have much time left. Bartleby's entire root system is being ravaged by a virulent pestilence, rendering him unable to do much more than mutter to himself. The pestilence was born of powerful magic, the likes of which I've never encountered before. And it's getting stronger. We believe it was delivered here by that anomalous cold wind that blew in during your graduation. Oh, if only we hadn't been so preoccupied then. Wow, he makes it sound like our graduation was a mistake or something. That's so rude. Wizard, complete the ritual. The spring's eternal. Oh, please, hurry. I need your help. Oh. Be Yikes. strong, old friend. Help is on the way. The wizard, that ritual Bartleby just spoke of, is the arboreal ritual. And it is why you are here. The arboreal ritual is a test to determine the one true champion of the great tree. The steward of tree magic, Bartleby's scion. Many have attempted the ritual, but none have succeeded, including me. Bartleby seems to think your luck may be different. Hurry, wizard. The springs must remain pure. The springs eternal is the source of all the life-giving water throughout the spiral, and it originates directly under Bartleby. If the springs eternal become poisoned, the entire spiral won't be far behind. Yes, but there won't be anything for the pestilence to poison if Bartleby can't revive Malori. That is why you are here, wizard. You see, Bartleby's root system is a sacred place. The altar where the arboreal ritual is conducted is guarded by ancient forest spirits. Wizard, complete the ritual. Malori is the key. I cannot hold it back. Help me. Help her. Just hurry. There's no time to waste. Bulinda, prepare the wizard for the arboreal ritual. I must consult with the Arcanum and the Council of Light. Go fulfill your destiny, wizard. Hold tight, dear Bartleby. Help is on the way. We hope. To complete the arboreal ritual, you must collect the first spring leaf from each of the original spell trees. Go, run. Okay, um, there's a lot of dialogue in this episode, and <laughs> I, I apologize for that. There's legitimately nothing I can do. That you're going to attempt the arboreal ritual. That's electrifying. My spring leaf is yours. Just help, Bartleby. Okay. Um, but yeah. We... I don't know how far we're going to go for today. I want to keep the episodes kind of short. You seek my spring leaf. So, you are to attempt the arboreal ritual. The news gives me chill. My spring leaf is all yours. Um... Yeah. I'm not quite sure how far we're going to go. I kind of want to keep the episodes around 15 minutes. Hello, wizard. I'm so glad it's you that has come to help us all. Please, take this spring leaf with my fiery blessing. Fiery blessing? Wow. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can probably, I'll probably do the boss who's underneath here just so we have some fighting for today, and then we'll probably end off. Dearest wizard, 
I do wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But please, take my spring leaf. Just help Bartleby. Wow, he's a bit angry. I always hate Ivan's voice. It's kind of weird. They changed the voice actors after they updated him, and it just sounds a bit strange. Good to see you again, wizard. You need my spring leaf to help Bartleby? Absolutely. Here, take it with my blessing. Same with um Blossom. They also changed her a bit as well. Uh, I was going to leave a mark here. I don't even know where that was. The pet shop makes sense. Crafting is great. <laughs> Why I had it at the pet shop, I don't know. Um, we're also going to turn down the sound. It sounds way too loud for me. Um, the dialogue either needs to come up or sound down. We'll just do that. Both. Boom. We'll fix it. Problem solved. Um, okay, let's go to Mortis. Our daddy Mortis. And then um, then we'll go over to Niles and Crocotopia real fast. At the speed of light. Hi, Mortis. Are you good? Can I help you, wizard? You seek my spring leaf. So, you're going to try your hand at the arboreal ritual. <laughs> I recognized your exceptional death magic skills early on, but I never dreamed you might one day attempt the arboreal ritual for the first time in, well, ever. I have hope for the future. I believe in you, old friend. My spring leaf is yours. Just help Bartleby. What I find really strange about this is how can Mortis have leaves? He doesn't have any leaves, he's a dead tree. How can how can he have leaves? But um yeah. Also for this quest, one of your school tree says a completely different piece of dialogue than everybody else, um, all of the others, and gives you a bit more faith and hope in yourself. Um, obviously that was Mortis for us and that's why his dialogue was more than just one 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 space bar away. Um, yeah, we should measure dialogue and the amount of space bars it takes to um, complete. I think that's a really good. Um, I think that's a really good measure of how much dialogue there is in the game. I'm 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 actually really curious now. How many space bars do you think it would take to complete the whole game? Put that down in the comments below or in the live chat because this is being premiered. Um, right now, how many space bars do you think it would take to get through all of the dialogue? Because that's apparently how we do this. My doorbell's going off. I hope someone else answers that. That's awkward. Why is the doorbell going off at 8.08 a.m.? Who comes to a house and asks for stuff and gets stuff at 8.08 a.m.? That sounds a bit strange. Oh, hello! It's been far too long. <laughs> what brings you back to our sandy section of the spiral? Oh! You're going to attempt the arboreal ritual? Then you're going to need my first spring leaf, I suppose. It's all yours. I have a good feeling this will be the last time I'll be giving one out. Well, thanks, Niles. I appreciate that. He has faith in me. The others didn't really accept Mortis. It seems the ones that are furthest away have the most faith in me. Kind of sad. Really, really sad, in fact. Um, let's head back to Moolandawu. Hi. Ah, oh, good. You have all seven spring leaves. According to the ancient texts, you now have everything you will need to perform the arboreal ritual. To complete the ritual, you'll place the seven spring leaves along with a lock of your hair into the ceremonial bowl upon the arboreal altar. Unfortunately, the ancient texts do not describe what will follow, probably because it's never been completed by anyone. However, we do know that the Scion will be granted access to Bartleby's sacred root system. I wish I could accompany you. However, this path is reserved for you alone. Be diligent, but swift. We are all counting on you. Good job, Melinda. Melinda's doing such a good job. What's really funny, all of the XP caps in, um, or to get up to the next level is two and a half million XP, all of them. It's kind of strange. It's not like progressively getting more and more. It's just constantly two and a half million. Um, the leaves are so black in here. I do not like it. Bartleby's dying. And we are going to solve it right now. This used to be bugged, this bit. Only the worthy may approach the arboreal altar. You possess the seven spring leaves. But have you the will of the great trees, Scion? Okay. 
Um, let's defeat these guys. They're not too difficult at all, which is good. Um, I know that because I soloed this on test run, because you have to solo this bit, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, basically, double blade for death should be fine, as long as they don't death shield. Um, that would be really annoying. Knowing life, they probably will. They have a, I think it's this, this shield for death and myth. I can't remember what it's called, but we might see it right now. Um, nope, we're seeing a PS blade. Makes complete sense, definitely. Um, <laughs> uh, we're just gonna hit, I think. Um, I don't think we can kill with one blade and nothing else, but we can try. We can try. We probably need a crit in order to kill, but then again, it's still gonna do a lot, and we can always follow up with another Denite or Lulu afterwards, so it's perfectly fine. No crit, which is sad, but I don't expect a crit ever because who expects to crit with like 40% or 30% crit chance. Nobody. Um, that's, I mean it did half the health, which is not bad at all. Really, really not bad. What is this brown spider? Yikes, that gets a bubble. It gets a bubble. The only reason why I know that is because PvP. Only reason. Because <laughs> no one uses that spell anymore. And like, no one used that spell to start with in PvE. Both of them are doing it. Wow. Wow, that's quite interesting. If these guys crit, they can actually do a lot, so be careful. Be careful of that. Um, they're not quite as bad as what's coming through that, through there, through the door, but um, still can be kind of bad. We're just going to Kizma both of them. Um, it should kill. I could Lulu, but there's no real need to do that. Um, this will do a lot on its own, even though it is dividing between two. The overtime should have them. I'm fairly confident that the overtime should definitely get them. Pew! How much is this going to do? Oh look, 1,000 inch, they did. Easy. Easy, we did it. We did. You've proven your will, newcomer. Now, place the seven spring leaves and the lock of your hair upon the abort. Only fate can determine if you are, or are not, the great tree scion. Okay, I just didn't want- I know these respawn, so I don't want to get pulled again. That would be terrible. The altar has accepted your offering. Bartleby be praised, the scion has emerged, and none too soon. That's so cool. That is so cool. What's the thing down the bottom? Blessed Scion, please hear our plea. What's the thing down the bottom? A new school, maybe? Question mark? Who knows? Who Your knows? Your magic is now infused with the might of the trees. Accept and wield this spell with the dignity, discretion, and grace of the great tree. From the time Bartleby took root here above the springs eternal, we have guarded this place. Not long ago, a chill wind shook Bartleby to his core. But it was what that wind carried that has wrought such devastation. A virulent rot. We noticed the rot spores immediately. We fought them as best we could, but the rot grew exponentially as it fed upon Bartleby's sacred roots. Eventually, the rot grew into an insatiable pestilence that gnawed through the roots toward the springs eternal. Bartleby's life soar. The great tree has done everything he can to keep the destructive disease contained within himself even locking us root guardians out. However, the root door has opened for you. Please enter and eradicate the pestilence. And be sure to clear any rotted roots you see too. I'm very interested at what the last one... There we go, there's sign of death. Um, mm, yeah, I, I don't know how many we're going to put in that. We're just going to keep... Uh, we're gonna keep one in for the final battle here. We probably won't use it, but you never know. I nearly died last time we did this, so in test drum, nearly died, so we could be using it, who knows. Um, let's head down. Hopefully, this is not bugged anymore. It shouldn't be. They apparently fixed it in live, uh, in test drum after it was released, but I spent at least 20 minutes trying to get this to work, this fight, or this dungeon. It was kind of strange. Um... So yeah, let's defeat these rot spores. I put some prisms in just because I, I don't really know. Just because they're death, I suppose. Just do a bit more. <laughs> I don't know, kill them quicker. We'll blade into probably a Dear Knight. Or if we get a Shad Lulu, just the normal. Basically, that's kind of all you'll be seeing in mob fights. Most of them will be actually cut out, but um, we'll probably cut out the next one and not this one and then go straight to the boss. 
um, but yeah, generally, generally that's what I do. If you're wondering, because I know some people ask me afterwards, like, what did, what is in your, what is your setup? Like, what spells do you use? And like, well, yeah. So I thought I'd tell you. At the moment, for mob fights, we just legitimately just either Lulu them or Dare Knight them, and it should be fine. Um, for for boss fights, we put in a couple feints, a couple of ele uh, spirit blades, a couple of blades, and then um, yeah. We, we should be good there as well. Uh, that kind of gives you an idea of what what my spells choice are. Obviously, there's some um, cheating bosses that obviously have a different sort of strategy for them. And we'll be getting into those not very far from now. It didn't really take long to get to the first really interesting boss. Um, which I've already put a video up on my channel, but... I'm not going to spoil because I've made a rule we're not going to spoil anything further in the story until I've finished the, um, until I've got there in the death walkthrough. I crit, which is crazy. That doesn't normally happen. Um, one of them blocked, the other didn't, which is great. One of them's dead. That did so much, holy moly. Um, okay, you just blocked both. Are you like a tank or something? Jeez. He's jading. He's jading. This guy's jading. He's got high block. High block, high resist. He's jading. <gasps> Okay, what is these? Does this give a trap? I think it does, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Pip can serve, wow. These guys can serve pips like crazy. Like, really, really crazy. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny how much pip can conversion they have to conserve all of their pips. I find it really strange how it's called pip conversion, except you can serve pips with it, is basically the main thing for it. It's kind of strange, I, th I feel. It just doesn't make sense to me. I always get confused because those words also are quite similar in like, like how you how you say them. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Not me. Okay, this should kill. Yes, it did. Good job. Did nothing, but it killed, so it's fine. And we head on to the next bit. Easy. It is working now, which is great. It's really great. Um, I'm going to skip this fight, and I will be back in just a second. Okay, we are back. We just finished that. Really, really simple. Um, basically the same as the last one. And we're fighting the pestilence. How's this? You've the smell of a delicious tree. But not the look of one. Perhaps a bite or two of your bark will help me understand. Okay, this is a boss. He doesn't have too much health from memory, but we're going to put in a couple of feints and um, a couple of blades. Just because, why not, we can. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. He does hit very, very, very hard. I nearly died on this fight when I first did it. So, yeah, he doesn't have much health, but he is kind of tough. Um, so, yeah, just be, just be aware. He hits very, very hard and can stun quite often. So, yeah. We'll see. He does like to pass as well, which is good. <laughs> it's good and bad. Um, okay, that's that's cheeky. That's a bit cheeky. Um, we are just going to faint him, get this plus 70 off, and we'll have a plus 30 for us, which is good. If you didn't know, um, if you have uh, both of the faint traps on you, it takes the one that was cast first, um, and then the one that was cast second. So, yee. Yeah. If you didn't know, that's how it works. I'm pretty sure we'll find out. Yeah, plus 30 and then plus 30 instead of plus 30 and plus 70. It's, it's great. It's great. Um, so yeah, if you've ever got a faint trap on, you just faint again and it will basically remove it, which is really cool. I didn't actually know that until um, a couple of a couple of weeks ago when I learned that. But yeah, that's a cool tip that if you didn't know, you should do that. Um, only if you have a faint, obviously, and want to waste one pip. It's whatever. Um, okay, we're going to enchant this blade. We are going to... We can't do that. Let's uh, blade up again. Hopefully, we can get a shadow pip sometime soon. Go for the Lulu. That should kill. Um, the only thing that's probably going to be the biggest issue is the, um, the minion. Because he's death. He has a lot of resist. We'll see. That's why I'm blading a lot. Um, but, I mean, my dear knight killed with one blade. So, we should be fine, hopefully. Hopefully we should be fine. I don't know if I crit or not. I might have crit. I wasn't really paying attention too much to it. Um, we can already cast Sign of Death. So we could do that if we wanted. Um, except it's not very good unless you get the double um, mechanic to work. So 
yeah. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste of a, a waste of your pips because it's basically like casting a vampire, a glorified vampire. Um, so yeah, you would be far better doing something completely different. But let's Lulu should kill hopefully. Um, three blades, two faints, and a, a plus thirty should be fine. Should be really really fine. He didn't actually hit at all, which is crazy. Um, because usually. Back in Test Realm, I think it was, he, um, he hit me with the Stormlord followed by a, um, Triton. And he crit on both of them, and it was terrible. <laughs> it was really, really bad. But GG, we did it. Good job. Can we get anything good? He drops, um, new Mastery Amulets, which is cool. Um. What? Wizard. My... Ah, what kind of tree fights back? Wizard. My scion. You have done it. I am at long last healed. I Yay. think seeing me like this does not disturb you. Now that I'm finally rid of that voracious pestilence, I've come closer, my scion. There is much we have to discuss. Okay, let's go and talk to Bartleby, and then we'll probably end off for today, unfortunately, but there'll be another one later From this the week. day you arrived at Ravenwood, I have been anxiously awaiting this moment. At last, my scion. You are realizing your destiny. Before you leave, take a vial of water from the Springs Eternal. It will serve you well in the future. Okay, let's collect the spring water. Did we do it? Nope, apparently not. Excellent. Now, my scion, you should be off. Our journey together is only beginning. First, tell Molinda she can stop fussing over me. Okay, let's head back to Mulinda through this nice wee teleporter. Really good. And that should hopefully be it for today. We won't go back to the Arcan and we'll finish that off to tomorrow, tomorrow, not tomorrow, next time. Um, and yes, should hopefully be good. Fingers crossed all should be great. Hi, Mulinda Wizard, talk. Wizard, look at Bartleby's leaves. The color is returning. You've healed him, haven't you? Yes, I have. This means you were able to complete the ritual. You are Bartleby Scion. I always knew you were special. Yes, this wizard was always destined for greatness, but their work is far from over. Now we must all refocus our efforts upon healing Mallory. She is crucial if we hope to convince Grandmother Raven to spare the spiral. But time is running out. Mallory refuses to heed my calls. You have been communicating with Mallory, Bartleby? Did you think I was talking to myself? Mallory fled Raven's astral plane into the place where all minds meet, called the Reverie. If she doesn't wake soon, she'll unwittingly cross over to the other side, and there will be nothing to protect us from Raven's wrath. I will resume pleading to Mallory, but I am still weak. I can grab her attention, but wizard, you must go to Reverie and convince her to wake. But first, you must ensure that her body is alive and well enough for her mind to return to it. Take Mallory's mortal form to the point where life and death magic converge. Mandala, now make haste, my scion. I do not envy the task ahead of you, but I am more confident than ever in your abilities, dear wizard. And so is your former headmaster. Ambrose has returned to the Arcanum to confer with the scholars and the Council of Light. You should update them with your news. Okay, next time we will be going back to the Arcanum doing all that. So thank you for watching. Room to like and subscribe. If you've already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember craft outside the box.